Hello again, YouTube. I thought I'd come back with another video to show you some of my 8x10, autograph 8x10s, and 16x20s. Okay, the first one up is this one here, Mario Ellie, on the signed 8x10. I got that in person. Next one is a Bob Filler 8x10. Get a look closer there. With, I'm not sure what year this uh, photograph was taken. Uh, it's uh, with the uh, Cleveland Indians here. Next one is Wilmer Fields. He's the third guy there. I'm not sure who the other teammates are. That's the Homestead Grays. The next one is Monty Irvin, Hall of Fame 73. This is when he was with the Newark Eagles in the Negro Leagues. That was uh, one I actually got in person about a little over 10 years ago at a show here in Houston. Okay, let me show you some more that I got in person here. Here's a uh, Elvin Hayes signed Sports Illustrated cover. Elvin Hayes, the Big E. You see it right there. You see the glare. There it is Sports Illustrated cover. Okay. Next up, the San Francisco 49ers. This guy here, Moran Norris, has a foundation called the follow me foundation my, my son was actually in a summer camp it's like a day little football camp day football camp a couple of years back and he got some of the players to come out i'm not sure who some of these guys are there's frank gore there i know that there's patrick willis vernon davis delani walker goldston that's that's all i could remember uh Goats in here. He's a pretty good player. San Francisco 49ers. Here is race car legend Mario Andretti. Get too much of that light on his face. It's Mario Andretti in one of those formula cars. There's his autograph there. Clyde the Glide Drexler. See his autograph there. Clyde Drexler. Got him in person as well. Got the Mario Andretti in person as well at a Firestone grand opening. And I have this one inscribed to me. Uh, to Derek, best wishes, Kenny Houston, Hall of Fame 86. Got that one in person as well. And this one is a really special item here. I've actually been, I've had this for a little over 10 years now. I have over 30 Negro League, uh, former Negro League players. Of course, it's former. Um, and I've gotten each one of these in person. Uh, there's Dave Whitney. You see him. He used to be the head basketball coach of the Alcorn State Braves. He's played for the Kansas City Monarchs back in the 50s. There's mainly Peanut Johnson, one of the only few women to play in the Negro Leagues. Some other players there. Other signed players. I tried to get a lot of the players to sign if if. You know, if they were in there with, they see their picture. I got one guy here, Frank Evans, actually signed in another guy's picture, but that's okay. You know, a lot of these guys are in their 80s and 90s, so, you know, there's Monty Irvin. I actually sent those two right there, Stanley Glenn and Wilmer Fields. I actually sent this piece to uh, Virginia for a show that they were, oh, and this guy here, Jim Zapp. I sent it to the Virginia to get them to sign it. It was a show back in probably about 2003. 
So I mailed it to him, and you know I got pictures of them signing the uh, the piece. So I was kind of at that time, you know, it was before the, you know, that was my authenticity. I used to put a little camera in there and a disposable camera, so they they took pictures of them signing my piece. That was pretty cool. And we got J C Hartman there. Also got this as well. Uh, like I say, during that time, they were coming to Houston quite a bit. I don't know if it was just like a traveling road show, but this was something, uh, that, an event that was put on out here, remembering the uh, history of the Negro Leagues. This is something during Black History Month several years ago. Got some more uh, guys to sign this little placard inside of one of the local grocery stores. This guy here, Herman Doc Horn. Actually passed away a few months after that event, you know. So I was very fortunate to get him on an item. Enrique Murata, Raymond Lacey, Carl Long, Joseph Marbury. A lot of these guys either played in the 40s or 50s. Quite a few of them played in the 50s. I believe this guy played in the late 40s and early 50s. That Herman Doc Horn. So, and this William Lacey here. These are guys that you know. Played forties. Anyway, uh, that's all I have for right now. Um, give me some feedback. Let me know what you think about some of these items. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you, uh, you got any suggestions, feel free to let me know. Thanks. <laughs>